brother Jim. Uh, we're just driving into Kansas City right now. Um, originally, we had just planned to preach at a few concerts, and we had a uh, we planned to go downtown uh, for today. This is Saturday, uh, but then we found out that there's a gay pride this weekend. Um, we really didn't even know anything about it, but we're gonna head there right now, and so we'll we'll show you the preach um, later on in this video. So as you can see right now, we're just driving in, about to cross uh, the Missouri River, I think. And then there's Kansas City uh, off to the right. So God bless you guys and yeah, that's it. <laughs> See ya. God loved you and that he sent his son. That was the the offering, the the loving offering that you might be born again. You know, that, that you might be changed. No. We're not we're not we're not wet Westboro Baptists. We believe that there's hope for everybody. You know, that God is calling everybody. God loves you, you know, but that doesn't mean that you're automatically forgiven. No, the forgiveness comes at, at a cost. The forgiveness comes when you repent. You know, forgiveness is conditional. Conditional. You know, Jesus said this, unless you repent, you'll perish. That's a condition. That's Luke 13, 3 in the scripture. You know, another condition that Jesus says is that unless you forgive others, you yourself will not be forgiven. So salvation is conditional. You know, so, so I care, we care. We want you to be set free. We want you to be changed, you know. I had to change. I had to give up my sin in order to enter the kingdom. I had to strive to enter, just like Jesus said, in order to enter the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God's door is open for you. That's, that's what we're saying. This is great news. This is great news. This is a message of love. You don't have to hate your neighbor by sinning against your neighbor. You don't have to hate God by sinning against God. You know, you can you can love your neighbor. You can love God. You know, the Bible says this, this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. You know, ask yourself, judge yourself. Are you keeping the commandments of Jesus? All you have to do is open up the scriptures, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read the words in red. And ask yourself, am I obeying these words? It's simple. You know, technically, you don't even need us to, to tell you. You don't need us to tell you. Just open up the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and say, hey, am I obeying these things that Jesus said? You know, have I, have I gone and sinned no more? Have I repented? Ha am I loving my neighbor? Am I keeping his commandments? You know, and, and what you're going to find is, is that, you know, you're not keeping Jesus' commandments. Most people today in America do not keep Jesus' commandments. I, I am keeping Jesus' commandments. Yes, I am judging. I am judging. No. No, I'm not. No. The Bible says this. That hypocritical judgment is sinning. No, look, I'm out here because I want you to be saved. You can be you can be free. Don't you want liberty? Yeah, but that doesn't mean everyone's automatically forgiven. God loves everybody, but everyone's not forgiven. You know, there's there's lots of people in hell right now that Jesus loves. There's lots of people. Right, but you're not forgiven. You know, just because God loves you doesn't mean that you're automatically forgiven. No. In order to be forgiven, you need to repent. Remember that word, repent? What's it mean? What does the word repent mean? Or what do you have to repent of? Hey, if I'm going to hell, I'll see you there. 
No, I won't be there. I won't be there. I've been, I've been changed. I've been born again. Have you been born again? I want people to be born again. Are you still doing the same old sin? Now, judging's not a sin. The Bible says this, the spiritual man judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no man. You know, the Bible says this, the wicked do not understand judgment. You know, if you don't, if you... You don't know it. I lay, he laid, layeth me down beside clean, clean waters. Right, I shall not fear. Right. I shall not fear what? Alright, you know, what about it though? What's it done for you? It's done this, I'm alive. Are you are you getting I drunk out here today? No, I'm not getting drunk out here. Okay, are you coming? And if I am, it's not your fucking right to judge me for no, it. No, no, I, I'm, I want you to be saved, man. I, I have be been free. saved. I was born and raised Catholic. I've been born again Christian. I am a trans fucking gender. There ain't nothing wrong with me. Uh, There's something wrong with you, are you. By standing here and judging us, motherfucker. No. Go home. The Bible says the priest. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. Be in he makes me lie down in green pastures. He guides me beside hey, quiet sisters, waters. Sisters. He redeems my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness Woo! for his name's sake. No, you can, you can be set free, Even though man. I walk through the I used to, of the valley. You know, let me tell you a story. I will fear no evil. For the We've Lord got story is time. Story You're time with Brother staff. Jim. They yeah. comfort me. You know, story time with Brother Jim. Prepare I used to table be, I used to be an adulterer. Enemy. I used you to be, anoint my head with oil. I used to my watch pornography, man. I used to be a drug oh, user. I right. used to be a drug user, you know? I used to be... I will walk in the... Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and Jesus Christ set me free. Jesus Christ changed my life. Hallelujah. Why are you here judging us? You know, I was born again. Yeah, you, uh, I'm telling you uh, that you uh, can be uh, born again. Uh, you can die to your sin. Born again. You can die on the cross with Jesus, and the I power of sin die. is broken. I I'd rather not die because I'm happy with who I am. Boy, God you better go home. No, Jesus said this. He says, if you lose God your life, you will gain it. Why are you still talking? And John Nobody's listening. said, love thy neighbor. Nobody's listening to you. You know, have you lost your life? No, I have, no, I have not. not. I but you know what? Times, you know what's bullshit? What? You're trying God to sit. saved me. Because he loves God you. created all in his image. Remember that. That is in your motherfucking Bible. Yeah, but people No, no. People no, destroy no. that image, you know? No. People, no. People, people destroy their own motherfucking images. You're right. I agree. Because it is God who creates all in his own motherfucking image. Look, look. And you're sitting here trying to well, spout out the goddamn when I, Bible? When I used Bitch, to, please. When I used to, you know, when I used when to look at to, pornography, and I used to, you, you know, no. You, oh, you know, I could, I, I found out that Jesus no, Christ wanted me to repent. Want he wanted me to turn. Jesus Christ. You know, and you can no, turn. No. You can. Your motherfucking Bible was made up by a whole bunch of fucking men that were smoking opium. Suck on that! Yeah, so Jesus Christ came to set you free. I'm a Christian and you're doing no good. You know, Jesus Christ can 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 change you. The Bible says to put off the old man, which grows corrupt, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. I used to be related. No, I do know because I used to be related to Fred Phelps. And you know what? You're tired. You don't know shit, bitch. Look at you. You don't know shit. Come on. Jesus loves me better than he loves you because you're judging, man. You're judging people. Do you know there's a difference between you. forgiveness and loving? That's right, and you have no right to make any kind of speech out here saying whether I'm going to go to heaven or whether I'm not. You have no right. It's between me and God. It ain't between me and you, motherfucker. You're judging me. You know, go home. What does, what does, what does, what does the Bible say? What does the scripture say? You know, I, I, I care about people. I want people... You know, to come to Jesus. I want people to, to to turn. I want people to to surrender to to what what Jesus said. You know, Jesus told people to go and sin no more. You know, but but, a man that lays with another man must get stoned. Yeah, no, that's that's like Old Testament. You know, in the New Testament, it says that people just need to repent. You know, lay down your sin and be forgiven. 
That's, that's the New Testament teaching. The New Testament teaching is that people repent, you know, and they can have life. You know, I needed to repent. I needed to repent, you know, and, and, and every single other person needs to repent as well. You know, they need to cast off their works and to be renewed, renewed in their mind, you know, renewed in their heart, a new heart. Don't you want a new heart today? You can have a new heart, a new life, completely new life, born again, you know, raised, raised uh, with Jesus Christ, sitting at the right hand of, of God the Father. That's, that's true fellowship right there, you know. If there's anything re redeemable about, about me, it's the fact that I know Jesus. That's the only thing that's redeemable about me is that I know Jesus Christ. So I know the cross, you know, I boast in the cross of Jesus, you know, what are you, what are you boasting in, what do you have pride in, you know, the Bible says this, pride goes before the fall, you know, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before the fall, you know, I needed to cast off my pride, I needed to cast off my haughty spirit, you know, I needed to, to, to realize that my way was not working. See, so yeah, Jesus Christ uh, can set you free, you know. I, I was set free. And everyone here can be set free as well. Set free from the power of sin. You know. God loves everyone, but, but everyone needs to repent in order to be forgiven. Everyone needs to be, for, you know, to repent, to be forgiven. So God does love everyone, but everyone is not automatically forgiven, you know? Well, I would say when you live a sin-free life, you cast all the stones to it. Yeah, I, I'm free. I'm free from sin. The, Bi the Bible says, and having been set so free from sin. You don't masturbate? You no, don't no. You don't have premarital sex? Hey, you no, religion. I'm married. I quit my drunkenness. Jesus does love you. Jesus loves all of us. Yeah, there's... there's a, People need to be born again, born again, you know. You can, you can cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light, you know. There's hope, there's, there's a way out. You can renounce the hidden things of shame, you know. Most people just, that are walking by, though they're walking in deceit, they're walking in craftiness, they may quote Bible verses, making excuses for their sin. Don't do that. Don't deceive your own selves. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died so that you could be changed, so that you could be born again. Born again. You know, have, have you, have you turned? Have you repented? Are you still committing sin today? Still committing sin. You know, you don't, you don't have to, to commit sin. No, you can, you can be changed. You can be transformed by the cross of Jesus. You can be set free by the cross of Jesus. That's good news. Good news. The Bible says this, Those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. You know, have you crucified the flesh with its passions and desires? Hey guys, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Yeah, you? Good, good. I'm the executive director of the festival. Mm -hmm. And we would like to ask you to uh, cease and desist on this. We've leased this entire property okay. all, the, all the way to the top of the Green Street Viaduct, all the way down to 3rd Street. This is private property gotcha. for the festival. Like where the balloons start on the bridge, yep. you mean? Okay, that's where you need to sit Gotcha. Okay. All right. Yep. All right, we're leaving. a block over there. So yeah. that's a... Uh, that's it. So. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, have hey. a great day. Yep, you too. Have a nice day. You too. All right. So this is a follow-up video uh, to the Kansas City Gay Pride uh, event that we had. Um, initially, you know, before we got there, we were questioning, you know, maybe we'll see other preachers here uh, preaching outside the event. Like when we go to the Gay Pride in St. Louis, you know, there's always... Uh, 
uh, at least one or two or three groups uh, you know also also uh, standing outside doing some type of uh, evangelism uh, towards the gay pride crowd uh, so we thought that we would see the same thing possibly uh, in Kansas City but uh, it you know uh, it turns out this was a paid event uh, which uh, you know I think we kind of knew about before going in but we thought that there would still be people uh, you know outside the event which is where we were we were right at the gate where people pay uh, to go in so uh, we you know we set up camp there and ultimately uh, the, the security and the police came by saying that they leased out the whole area uh, around the the whole entire river there the whole entire park basically uh, so you know and, and they wanted us uh, kicked off the place so you know uh, uh, that's how it goes you know we ended up leaving and uh, uh, going to a different location uh, in order to uh, spread the news so yeah that's what happened and uh, yeah you know I wish it was I wish it was open but you know you you uh, win some lose some so yeah that's it uh, God bless everyone goodbye